Hello, welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky, and today I'll be using Photoshop Element 7 in Windows. And I'd like to give you a tutorial on how to create this effect of this dry brush type special effect that I've used here, which it looks like I've painted on to a white canvas. If you look over here on my layers palette, you can see exactly how I did this, and I'm going to take you through how to create this in a few short steps. Now, I'm going to go to Edit and Revert here, and it's going to take me back to my original photo. I also need to go over and thank Lenolfian over here. I was able to go to Flickr, and under the Creative Commons license, I'm able to use his photos here and then tell you where to look them up and that would be over on Flickr just put in Lenulfi in there you'll find this and thank you very much for letting me use your photo now this is the background layer if you're not familiar with that it has a padlock on it now there's means that it's partially locked and we can't do some things on this background layer I like to start off by double clicking that and turning it into a layer which gets rid of the padlock here the next thing that we're going to do is a few control key commands that I'd like to take you through or command on the Mac and do a real quick create layer here. Now if I clicked on this, the layer would be created above this. For this effect to work, I need two layers below this. So if I hold the control or command key and click on this little dog ear right here, which is the new layer icon, I will create two layers which are transparent. You can see the checkerboard pattern here they're transparent and I've created them under my first layer. Now that's a, another quick control or command key uh, trick that you're using. Next thing I'd like you to do is pay, pay attention to this um, default colors right here, the black and the white in your palette. That's just like an artist palette. You have black and white up there. If it's not black and white, you can just click the D on your keypad on your keyboard and that will put it back to the black and the white. So now we have these three layers here and we have the original photo that's sitting on top here and we have two transparent layers underneath. Now in order for this effect to work we need to have the white on this layer too. That would be another or control or command key option that would be really quick. You hold the control or command key down and you tap the backspace key and that will fill it with whatever you have in this background palette right there so it filled it with white I have my transparent layer in the middle and over here I've got my layer zero and what I'd like to do now is I'd like to apply one of these effects if you don't see the effects palette here you can always go to your window and then click on effects and your effects palette should show back up. Now all these effects are in alphabetical order. If you go through all here and hover over the little thumbnail, you get base relief, chrome. The one I'm looking for is one called dry brush. And I'm over to D, E, diffuse glow. It's okay if you can't find it because whatever it is that you click on, there's dry brush right here and I'll click apply and it's going to open another window here and you can see that I have my dry brush effect now I don't really like that too much I'll change my brush size maybe actually I'll get a bigger brush size here and maybe a little less detail maybe a little more I'm just going to sit here and play with this until I kind of find the one that I want take a look at some of these. I'm not too happy with that. I kind of like the diffused piece a little bit more here. And take that down some and change this texture here. Doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Oh, yes it is. So there it is. When I'm kind of happy with this effect, I'm going to select OK and it's going to change our layer zero. Now here's another shortcut key would be the control or command G if you're one of the people that is tired of me doing all these control or command options right here you can hold the alt key down or the option key on the Mac and you can find the little line in between the layer 0 and layer 1 and you can click on that it does the same thing as control G whichever one that you like better now I'm gonna click on the layer 1 and how this works is if I pick a brush and paint with it with black color 
it is going to take this image and start it the image is going to start to appear on this layer 2 here I've got my brush set at 38 percent because we want to go in there and we want to pretend that we are painting with a brush here the other thing that I'm going to do is show you that there are a bunch of brushes default brushes is what you start with and I'm on natural brushes too so just click the down arrow and get to natural brushes too you'll see all these natural brushes here I have the second one selected and then if you use the left and right bracket keys on your keyboard it'll either make it larger or smaller and then keep it about 38 percent opacity and what that's going to do is I'll show you in a second here as I start painting if you click and hold and kind of click and drag you're painting on your canvas and what you're painting is the image that we have here in the layer zero so I'm going in there and it, the reason it's at 38 percent is the more that you paint the darker the image gets so I'm going here and just for time's sake I'm going to do this it would be awful for a, an artist to see me do this but I'm just going to kind of scrub back and forth here to give us this image a little bit of an image here you can see it's not quite showing up yet but if I click the mouse again you can see it keeps getting darker and the reason is is that this is getting blacker and blacker and wherever the black is the image here is going to bleed through to the white so I'm going here and what you're doing is you're simulating that you've got a canvas and you're kind of painting with it you're either painting or you're doing some sort of a chalk relief or something like that and you're leaving the brush strokes in there to give it the brush stroke effect here and as I keep painting here and it keeps getting darker you can see that now the image is starting to get clearer and clearer as I do that until I'm kinda happy with my painting and it looks like that I have a painting right here I could keep going and I could keep painting all this kinda making an unfinished work here I'll just kinda paint over here real light strokes and it, now it looks kinda like an unfinished painting and all it took was an original image a transparent layer and a white background with one of these funny natural brushes so hopefully you had fun with that and if anyone is into scrapbooking you'll probably enjoy this being able to put this inside of a scrapbook but please subscribe to my videos leave any kind of comments um, I hope that you like it and give me a good rating on this and I will catch you around